Hello guys, this is Arun from WorkerTech. Let's look at how to properly set up Git for VS Code, then commit and push a code to GitHub and further how to host it via Netlify, that is to connect uh, GitHub to Netlify and host a website. So let's start by actually installing Git. So I'm actually going to search for install Git and going to select the uh, second option, uh, that is gitacm.com. So here I can see different options which is available but within this uh, they are actually showing the preferred version for my system which is Windows 10. So I'm going to click on download over here. So uh, it will take some time for it to download so I'll just skip it for the time being. So after downloading the package I'm just going to uh, run it so that uh, it will be installed on my system. So I'm going to provide all the necessary information. Uh, so if required you can read through it or you can just uh, skip ahead and install it. So I'm just going to install all the files on my system for setting up git and let's wait till that. So once the installing is done uh, either you can launch git bash to check whether uh, everything is working or not or you can just close it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch it and i'm just going to check the uh, get version so that uh, i can confirm that it has been installed properly so 2.3 is the version which we installed and it has been properly installed so now let's look at how to actually push the code to github so I have a simple index.html file which has a, just a paragraph that is this is a dummy page with nothing much in it. Obviously there's nothing right. Uh, so before proceeding further, let's just check something that is from the settings. Let's check whether get is uh, enabled or not in your system. As you can see, it is enabled in my system. So just check whether it's enabled or not. If it's not enabled, just make sure that it's turned on or it's enabled. Okay. So now what we can do is uh, from the source control section over here let's actually initialize a repository because currently we haven't initialized a repository git repository yet so let's just uh, initialize something so once we click on initialize what we are going to do is we are going to initialize this within our local system so that is the first step okay and over here you can see we have to uh, actually stage the changes okay obviously we have to stage these changes and once that is done uh, we can provide some uh, commit message so since this is my first commit i'm going to uh, put in first uh, commit and then i'm going to commit this particular thing by clicking on this particular button commit button and yes now the changes are committed okay right now it's committed and now uh, as you can see over here there's a button over here uh, there is this one uh, that is uh, published to github okay so uh, you can either publish it to github by clicking on this particular link or by uh, selecting these three dots and then clicking on push okay so now as you can see over here it's saying that your repository has no remotes configured to push to right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add remote and here we have to provide a repository url or pick a repository source okay so what we have to do is uh, i'm actually going to open my browser go to github and what i'm actually planning to do is i'm actually going to create a new repository okay new repository i'm going to click cl click on that and create it after that i have to provide some um, name to it okay so since my project name is uh, the pr uh, project name is website trial i am going to provide the same itself over there uh, website trial i think that's a page let me just verify that yeah website trial page so that's it website trial page and after that i'm going to actually uh, let it be private because i don't want this to be uh, visible for others okay while they are browsing my uh, github profile so i'm going to click on create repository and thereby create this repository okay so once this repository is created uh, obviously there'll be nothing in it you have to copy this particular link over here you can just click on this particular button and it will automatically be copied and after that you can come back to vs code um, and you have to paste that particular repository over here and once we click on that we'll be adding this particular repository which we created that is website file page which i created on github as a remote source for the uh, index.html file which uh, which we are going to actually push right so if there's a repository which you want to push to 
uh, that is if there's a repository already existing to which you have to push to you can just uh, click on this uh, second button that is add remote from github and then select that particular repository and then push to it or else uh, you can just uh, create a new repository and add that particular link over here and then just click on enter so again we have to provide a remote name again i'm going to provide uh, web uh, website trial page itself as a name and after that you can see uh, it's being actually uh, pushed okay so i'm um, uh, so now let's just click on this particular button again to uh, push it to that particular source okay uh, that is we are pu publishing our pushing our changes and now let's just refresh this particular page to check whether we have it uh, we have got that publish or not so we actually uh, committed this particular change uh, what can we say um, around uh, like three minutes earlier so that's why it's showing that uh, it's uh, done it was done three minutes earlier so the commit message which we provided was first commit so obviously that's it and let's just open this particular index.html file and you can see this is the content which was present over there right so that's uh, present over there so let's now just try uh, making some changes to this particular page this is a dummy page with nothing much in it uh, uh, this is a part of the sd bootcamp yes obviously so i'm just going to change save the changes and after as you can see right now in the source control section you can see um it, it's already mentioning that there's one uh, change which has not been committed right oh me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, add a commit message which states uh change the, the text okay okay it changed the, the text and i'm going to click on commit and it has been committed now as you can see over here there's one uh w there's a notification over here that is it's saying that one commit uh has not been sing or pushed to the um uh, what can we say the, the github so let's just click on that or either you can just select these three dots and click on push i'm just going with this thing because it's more convenient so let's just click on that and let's just wait for a couple of seconds so that it's uh pushed to the github so it will take some couple of seconds yeah so now it's finished let's get back to this particular page i'm going back to the repository again so as you can see the uh, commit was or the push was made uh, around 38 seconds ago and the message which i provided was changed the text right so let's just open this index.html to verify that um yeah this is a part of the sd bootcamp which was the message which i changed in the index.html file so that's how we actually uh, push a repository like push a code from vs code to github okay so that's one method so in a later stage you can just directly uh like in, in in the case of a new file you can just directly click on publish to github repository and from that you can just uh, directly provide a name for that particular repository and then just uh, publish it okay so that's uh, something else like uh, if there's any doubt uh, coming up just reach out to me i will just help you with uh, like pushing it to the github so the next thing which we have to check is or which we have to do is uh, we have to publish our go to netlify like we have to host our website uh, via netlify right so let's go to netlify so i hope everyone has an account on netlify if not yet uh, just create it i have one already so i'm just logging in to that particular um, my account so as you can see there's some uh things over here so you can just uh, know that and just click on new site from git and you can just uh, select the source for that particular thing so if it's github you can select that if it's gitlab or bitbucket you can just select that so since our code is on github i'm going to select github and it'll be doing some uh, if, if it's for the first time you have to do some kind of um, authorization with respect to github and after that uh, this particular page will be coming up and over here what you have to do is you have to select uh, or maybe select the repository which you just created from this particular list so our repository name was website trial page so i'm going to search for that and click on enter and now uh, it will show up yes uh, so just select that particular repository and uh, our code is already present in the master branch so there's no need to change it now so and then for i am just going to click on deploy site over here so it will take a couple of seconds uh, it will take some couple of seconds to get deployed 
so let's wait for that yeah as you can see now it's now hosted with this particular url that is pensive turing and some kind of things like that some random words and this was the website that is this is a dummy page with nothing much in it this is a part of his reboot camp right so i'm going to click on site settings and then over here it's click on uh change site name and website trial page so this was the thing right website trial page so i'm going to click on save and now uh, our website is now live at website trial page dot netlify dot app and by default https will be enabled and when we visit this particular page our website will be made available on that so this is how you can actually uh, push a code from vs code to github and then use netlify to uh, make it available uh, to everyone or maybe host it okay so uh, if you are making uh, any changes in this particular page, you, you just have to provide a commit message, then commit it and then further push it to the GitHub and simultaneously changes will be uh, visible to this particular website also. Okay, because it, it's continuously being deployed, all the changes will be um, reflected when and uh, whenever there's a change made. Okay, so that's how this can be done. So again, uh, if there's anything... Uh, like if there's any error which you are facing just reach out to me i'll be happy to help okay